Hi guys, it's Angie with Gigi's Art Treasures and this is one of the first few videos that I'm going to be doing on how to make your own art supplies. Now one of the things that I really love that they have come out with is the new silks. Well I say new but I'm not really sure if they're actually new but they're new to me and I love them but since I have put myself on this new challenge for the next year of not buying anything new uh, for 365 days I was wondering to myself you know how can I possibly get a hold of these silks or possibly make my own so I decided to try to make my own and in listening to the description that everyone was talking about on YouTube on all the different tutorials they said that it was just like an acrylic glaze with mica powder in it basically so I just I decided to try and make my own and this is what I came up with now this one is made with some um, what I used is some medium acrylic gloss or I should say acrylic gloss medium um, and then just some regular artist loft paint that I got at Michaels and then some mica powder now mica powder you can either buy it from Amazon.com or you can actually just go to the dollar store and get some really, really cheap eyeshadows, which is basically what I used um, for this recipe. This is just some LA Color, um, what is it called? LA Color Shimmer, Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. Um, it was a dollar at the dollar store. And this one is in Radiant. And then I got one here that is in Black Pearl. So, as you can see, I made my own black silks, and then I made the gold silks. Now, this is what it looks like when you actually put it down on paper. This is my word of the day card that I made um, in a monthly challenge that I'm doing on another uh, artist's website. This right here is the gold silks that I made and then right around the edges you can see I just did it very lightly I'm sure you could do it darker if you wanted to is the black and I just kind of gave it that kind of patina antique -y look and I really like how it still shows the words on the book pages print um, behind it so it's very sheer it's very shimmery and I absolutely love it so I'm going to show you guys how I made it, and it's really, really simple. I got these containers at Michael's. They were about $2.99, and you get about six of these in a package. And I love them because they seal really, really well. Now the first color that I want to make, I'm going to use this uh, Artist Loft Copper. And the reason that I want to use this one is because it's already got a little bit of shimmer in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up this dollar store eyeshadow that I got. And the colors on this are, it's called a three color eyeshadow palette and it's in sunflower but it's got the three different colors in it. It's like a gold, a copper, and then a bronze in there. So if I can get this little guy open, I'm wondering if it's like taped shut or something. Oh yeah, it is. It's brand new. I just took it out of the package before starting this video, so I didn't know there was tape on it. So we'll just take that off. As difficult as it is being. And we'll open this up, and then I'm just going to use this broken wooden skewer that I use for a number of different things. And I'm going to use this copper color, and I'm just going to take some of this mica powder and I'm just going to dig it up pretty much and then what I like to do is just turn it over sorry that's probably not even in frame is it and then just put the mica powder in the bottom of the container and you want to get quite a bit in there so because I like it to have a lot of shimmer And of course I'm getting it everywhere, but that's okay. We'll clean that up later. All right. Now that I have it all over myself. So I'm going to take this and just stir it up really good and just kind of break up all those chunks and make sure that it is pretty fine. 
And then I'm going to take my copper paint and I'm just going to squeeze a good amount in there. Not a whole lot, maybe about a third full, a quarter full, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stir this up because I kind of want to get that mica powder kind of stirred up right into the paint. It might darken it a little bit, but not really. I, I'm just using it to kind of give a little bit of extra shimmer to the paint. And then I'm going to take my gloss medium and I'm going to add that to my container. And I'm not going to fill it up all the way, but I am going to put a pretty decent amount in there. And you want to stir this until it is completely mixed. And it's going to take a minute or two because the paint is all stuck to the sides and you want to get it blended really, really well. So keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Now since this is not all completely full, I kind of like that because I now want to take more, I'm going to wipe off, grab a paper towel, and I'm going to wipe off my skewer, and I'm going to take more of this mica powder from the eyeshadow. I'm going to break more of that up because I want to add a little bit more richer color into this. A little bit more pigment. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I've not made these before. Um, the gold one was the very first one that I made and then I made the black one and I was really happy with those so I wanted to show you guys how I make them. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about this challenge that I'm doing. It's basically a one year challenge to make, uh, what is it, use it up wear it out, make it do or do without. I'm on day 18. I started it on February 1st and so far it's going pretty good because I was very much addicted to going to Michael's. Every time there was a coupon, I was always saying, you know, honey, can we go to Michael's? Can we go to Michael's? And I would make him take me there, especially now that it's winter because I don't like to drive in the winter time here. Now see how that kind of really gave that a little bit of a richer color? I put more of that mica powder in there and it made it just a little bit darker and I think this is the perfect color. I really like this color a lot. So I'm going to wipe off my skewer and I'm going to grab a little cardstock. And this is a used piece that's a little bit dirty so I'm going to use this one so I can just show you what this looks like kind of made a little bit of a mess there. So I'm just going to grab a little paint brush and I'm just going to brush this on. It's nice and sheer and it's very, very shimmery. I love the way this looks. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer in that or not, um, but it is very shimmery. It is actually quite lovely absolutely love this color. So all you need to make this is some paint, you know, any color that you want to make your silks, some gloss medium, and some eyeshadow or any kind of mica powder that you have, and a little jar. And you can pick these up at Michael's. Um, like I said, they're $2.99 for a package of six of them. And now I've got three different colors of the silks. I've got the gold, I've got the copper, and I have the black pearl. And I plan on making a lot more of these. I've got probably six more of these little jars left. Um, I'm going to do some pink next. And um, I hope you guys like this recipe. If you give it a try, 
then please um, you know, put a comment down below and let me know that you gave it a try and what you think of it and how you like it. Um, you too can make your own art supplies. You don't need to go out and spend a ton of money. You can make do with what you have right here at home and really just maximize your budget by trying different things and making different things. So if you like this video, please be sure to click the like button and do subscribe because I'm going to be doing more and more art tutorials and homemade DIY art supplies and things going forward. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.